Okay, so this is going to be the bonus section of this uh, video tutorial series. So last time I kind of forgot to uh, explain like what's going on here with the uh, CEM damage equation. Well, basically I, I technically did explain in the second video, but here I just copy and paste from the pre-existing COMSOL uh, model that I've done before. This part is basically the omega from a constant temperature uh, estimate here. It's the, the equation that I wrote down basically. Cm times 60 gives you uh, time in, equivalent time in second, that's tau 2. And this is E to the Ea divided gas times the E43 with the T break, right? In Kelvin. And this is the, uh, the A value uh, I wrote down in the equation. So exponential to the minus omega gives you the uh, the number of cells alive, right? So one minus that gives you the damage value, basically. So that gives you the uh, percent damage over time plot. But that is not exactly why I'm making this uh, bonus video. Uh, the reason why is actually I want to add a tumor to the model here. So you can add an ellipse and um, see my axis 0 0.08 and this one uh, tens, uh, 1 centimeter and then this one is uh, 8 millimeter. Let's see and location is uh, 0 0.16 0 0.016 Okay, and then uh, I want to do 180, uh, well, just do 270, not, no, no, 180, how can you rotate, um, how can you rotate this? Well, uh, there's more than one ways, but I'm going to take the uh, the easy way out, which is uh, this. This is what I'm trying to show you guys. So, okay, this is another thing you can do is Boolean operation and take the difference. All right? So I want to use this, add this, and I want to subtract this. And let's see what happened. Oh, look, I just subtracted my antenna. That's not good. So what do I do now? Um, well, here's a, a trick that I found found out. I can import a second time. Uh, well, delete this thing. I can just copy this thing, duplicate, and build. There we go, now I have my thing. But that's not all. If you notice, if you zoom in a little closer, uh, the boundary here is still there. You need to delete those two boundaries. Uh, so delete, it has a delete option, do entity, and select boundary, and then select the boundary you want to delete. And then build all. Now you have the geometry you need to model the tumor inside the liver, right? So that's the next thing you can do is add a tumor tissue here. Uh, this will be our tumor. Rename this thing to uh, tumor. And the, okay. The liver tissue is that. In our bio heat equation, we'll include this in our bio heat equation. But or RF, let's see, everything. Yeah, for the PD, you want to do all the tissue, the biological tissue, okay? Same thing about heat, this one, everything. Tumor, epsilon. Uh, what should we use for the epsilon value? Uh, 40. 
one. Uh, conductivity is one. K liver. Density uh, rho liver. CP liver. Good. Yeah, and now we can actually simulate this thing with the uh, tumor in here. So let's try it out. Oh, well, one thing we forgot to add is actually the uh, the tumor perfusion, the right. Okay. Well, in this case, we're just going to assume that the tumor has the same uh, perfusion as the uh, normal tissue, but that's incorrect in real life. So that's up to you. You want to do that? Let's go ahead and do that, so you guys know how how to do it. Add a biological tissue. Uh, let's rename this one to tumor. Of course, this one's liver. And then add bio heat. Oh shoot, it already has the one by default. So this one will have row blood. CP blood. Um, perfusion rate. Uh, half that of the blood omega blood Q met is 1.3 times the uh, normal tissue so you have lower perfusion in the tumor probably due to necrosis at the center um, yes I mean, this is the values that I have on my uh, for my homework, so I'm just going to use that. You guys can do whatever you want. All right, uh, so uh, this should work. Yeah, it's using. I have a the i5 3570k. And this is a pretty good processor, uh, you know. And it's using 92%. And this is, uh, it takes a lot of computing power to simulate. All right, cool. The one thing that kind of stand out is the uh, QGen, actually. If you want to look at the QGen, Q generation. Uh, we have the QGen. Uh... Okay, uh, I guess that's not a lot of heating at this moment. But uh, I guess I guess the power is kind of low. If you increase the power, you notice uh, there's like a big difference between the uh, external tissue and the uh, t t inside the tumor. Oh, that's because we uh, we use the same. Oh no, it's not the same. But anyways, uh, you, you guys play with it, and you you'll tell me what what happens. Okay. Okay, let's use a log scale, see if we can see more clearly. Nope. Uh, so, QGen doesn't work for log scale. Yeah. Alright, man. Uh, I mean, that's all I'm going to do for this series. I'm not going to make more videos on for this series. I hope you guys enjoy finding this useful for your schoolwork or whatever thesis master thesis or whatever sounds cool all right see you next time bye